Therefore, the diagram on the right shows the sector VOW with center O and a radius of 10cm. So, the radius is 10cm. Given the area of the sector is 60cm square, calculate. So, we have to know, given the area, so what can we relate with area? So, we know given a sector, the area is equal to half R square theta. Theta is radian, R is the radius. And we need to know that theta must be in radian. Okay, now get back to the equation. Radius 10, okay. So, calculate the value of theta in radian. So, we see here, for A, area is equal to half R square theta. So, we know the area and we have the R. So, we can get the theta. And obviously, the formula is in radian. So, here theta is equal to A over a half R square. So, we just bring everything that multiply with the theta to the left. So, here we get here. So, area is 60 divided by half R is equal to 10. So, 10 square. So, this one is 100 times half. We get 50. So, 60 divided by 50, we get 1.5. This is 1.2 radian. So, V, the arc length of VW in CM. So, this is the arc length. So, what is the formula of arc length? So, we know formula of arc length, S is equal to R theta. This one is also in radian. So, if we have the radius, if we have the radian, we can directly find the arc length. So, V, S is equal to R theta. So, the radius is 10. The theta, the radius is 1.2. So, 10 times 1.2, we get 12. 12, what? So, this one is the arc length. This one is cm. So, this one is 12 cm. So, see the perimeter of VOW in cm. So, perimeter, you see here. So, perimeter. So, see perimeter is equal to. So, arc VW plus. So, you see here, this one is VO or radius. And this one is. O W which is also radius. So this one is 10 and this one is 10 plus 10 plus 10. So our length is 12 plus 20. So here we get 32 cm.